Hi, First Baptist. My name is Grace Park, and I will be doing day three of Pastor Mike's book, Stepping Forward. Today's devotion is called Blessings from the Holy Spirit, and we'll be, we will be looking at the passage, passage Ephesians 1, 13 through 14. The passage says, In him you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having also, also believed you were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise who is given as a pledge of our inheritance with a view to the redemption of God's own possession, to the praise of his glory. It is such a privilege to hear the holy, mighty words of God, the words that bring truth into our lives. They remind us that nothing can take us out of God's hands. So here's some insight from Pastor Mike. God's word declares that the Holy Spirit has sealed those who have called upon the name of Jesus. The sealing of the Holy Spirit does three things for us. It means that there's a surety of proof that the one sealed is eternally saved. Salvation is a never ending process and it has three parts to it. Number one is justification, the initial point of salvation. Number two is sanctification, the lifelong process. And lastly, glorification, which is when Jesus calls us home. The sealing of the Holy Spirit shows the world that we belong to God. It shows that our spirit is alive because the Holy Spirit gave us living water. Pastor Mike says that the sealing of the Spirit ensures a constant flow of life from the throne of God. The sealing of the Holy Spirit also protects us from the enemy from coming in and taking over. Once the Holy Spirit has taken residence inside of a person, nothing can push him out. How great is the blessing of the Holy Spirit? We have only to say, praise God for his marvelous grace and the work he has done and the power he has to keep it. So now for the challenge for today. You know those days when you feel lonely and full of despair, when all you can ask is, where are you, God? Well, the promise of the Spirit's sealing ought to be the comfort for you in those tough times in life. God has never left us and he never will. So take time today to look over these verses and remember the promises they hold. Next is the reflection. So question one is, what is God saying to me right now? God is telling me to remember, to remember that he is always in control, to remember that I am forever protected, forever saved, and nothing can take me away from God. And to remember that I'm loved, and that God would never leave me. How should I respond to this? By remembering his promises, every promise that he's ever made, including the ones in the verses that we read today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you continue watching. Have a blessed day.